friend We're out on the highway each day When we're on the road With you ever load It's just a game that we play Through rain and through sunshine Through ice and through snow We're happy wherever we go The trip may be long But I sing a song On the highway as we drive along The trip may be long But I sing a song
revenues benefit to make the money so they can hire a lobbyist, a lobbyist to go to, to go to Washington D.C. to support our cause. Not only try and get rates back up and get better working conditions for the driver himself, not just the independent, but also for the driver get better rate conditions, make the laws more uniform. We have 50 states. In all 50 states have different rules and regulations. What might be legal in one state is not legal in another. You know, the federal government might say it's legal, but some states may, may, may not. We, we like to get uniform regulations, regulations that are more fair, and the only way you're going to do it, and nowadays, without having a strike, which is really hurts you more than it helps you, is to, have a, is to have a good lobbyist in Washington, D.C. And what they're trying to do is raise the money to hire a good lobbyist in Washington, D.C. to support the trucker. What do you think about the conflict so far? How'd you get involved with it? How do you think it's going? Well, I, I heard of it, heard about it through friends and uh, at truck shows. I, I talked to, I, I seen the, the display that uh, Truckers Aid had at uh, the Anaheim Truck Show and also the International Truck Show in Anaheim. And I talked to him about it and I seen it was a good cause. It was something that I felt that I should support. And as far as the truck convoy is going, Yesterday it was a little bit slow, but, but today, the second day, going to Mexico, heck, we're really picking up steam. It looks like it's really going to have potential of, of, of uh, having quite a few trucks into it, showing the American public that we are safe professional drivers, you know, that we can conduct ourselves in a proper manner. And, and I think we're going to be noticed, especially some of these biggest cities. These politicians are going to start taking a notice to us. Okay. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the giant truck stop? The one we just left. I've only stopped over three or four times, uh, but I, I find it a very nice other truck stop that, that is uh, really, really geared out of the truck driver, and they got me as a steady customer now. I, you know, I like the food. They have plenty of nice stores. You know, it's, 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 it's a truck stop that you don't just go to because you have to. It's a truck stop you go to because you really enjoy being there. Is it, um, is it something that, that more and more of the truck stops are going to be Bike. Yes. More and more. It all started with a truck stop called Petro. They, they, they were really starting to gear themselves to give the driver a nice atmosphere, a safe atmosphere. And lately, a lot of them are starting to copy it. And Giant really, really top, really top Petro. They, they, they got a real class truck stop. And more and more of them are starting to see now that the way to do it is to keep the sleeves factor out of the truck stops. And, and, and you got to start getting in the better class of drivers. And it's gonna, and they're gonna have a nice truck stop with a lot less problems than they were in in the past. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the run that we're making from Reno to Dallas. Yeah. You driven here before? Third section. Uh, certainly, third section that we've done. I've never driven. I've never driven before. Uh, the section from Reno, from 80 that down to Las Vegas on 95. That, that, that was my, my first time ever on that road. And a section across the Hoover Dam, that was my, my first time going that direction. And I've only been on the Hoover Dam once before going the other direction. Everything else, like Interstate 40 here, I'm on this road four times a month. You know, it's, it's, I, can always drive, I can always drive it with my eyes closed. You like this area out here? Yeah, I like, I, I'm on the East Coast, and uh, my home state of New York, and my second home, California, are my two favorite states. I used to enjoy shopping because there's so much different scenery, and I do like the West out here. It's just different than what I'm used to. Do you like driving? I mean, I, do you like being away from home for, for weeks, or how long do you away from home? Usually, usually about 10 days at a time, but I've always enjoyed driving. I wanted to be a driver. Since I was six years old, I only ever wanted to be with a truck driver. When I was 12, I got a job on a farm driving farm equipment. You know, I just found the farm and stuff. I mean, you know, something I enjoy doing. On my 18th birthday, I had my license, and I was driving straight trucks while I was in school. On my 21st birthday, I had my, my class one. I, bet I took my road test on my 21st birthday, and I've been driving ever since. And it's something I really enjoy doing. I, I love seeing the country. I love meeting new people. And being with home doesn't really bother me that much because I can the road for my home. Tell me what happened. 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 Tell me what happened.